Hello everybody! Welcome to our video solutions to Super Quiz 2! This is from Fall 2021. This is Math 106, which is Integral Calculus and Differential Equations. And this second Super Quiz is mostly going to be about the Laplace Transform. Uh, of course, a key ingredient for the Laplace Transform is improper integrals. And so our first question is asking about an improper integral. Uh, it's not what it says. It says find the total accumulation. Okay, well, that's an integral, right? They give us a function, and here's where the improperness comes from. We want all the accumulation when the domain goes from 3 all the way to infinity, right? That's the key right there. That tells you we have an improper integral coming. So let's set this up. So the total accumulation, notice I'm going to write that down so that whoever is looking at this is going to know what it is I'm computing, right? So the total accumulation is equal to the integral from, well, it says here it starts at 3. So we're going to go from 3 to infinity, right? Because that's where x is going to it, right? All, all of it's in there, starting from 3. And then the function is e to the negative x. All right. So uh, let's. we already have a name uh, for this guy here. Um, so mm, let me give a name for the antiderivative, right, or an, an antiderivative uh, for e to the negative x. So let's call it g of x. Now I know, I know typically in the books they use a capital F. I don't want to use that because we also use that for the Laplace transform. But that's fine. Uh, an antiderivative for e to the negative x is negative e to the negative x. All right. So our improper integral is going to be g at infinity minus g of 3. And let's see what happens. Uh, and of course, remember, right, when I'm writing this g of infinity, just as a quick reminder, this means the limit as x goes to infinity of g of x. Because you can't actually evaluate g at infinity. Infinity is not a number. It's not in the domain. So this is just a shorthand. Uh, let's see. So uh, as x goes to infinity, what happens here? Well, this is a decaying exponential function. So as x goes to infinity, this exponential goes to 0. The negative doesn't change that. So we get a 0 there minus, OK, at x equals 3. Well, that we can just plug in. It becomes minus e to the negative 3. Okay, it's very important here I use these parentheses so that I don't forget to include this extra minus, right? Once you write it down the first time, you say, oh, look, minus e to the negative 3. Hey, but you really want a plus here, right? Because it's minus minus. So we end up with e to the negative 3, or if you prefer, 1 over e cubed as your total accumulation.